Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're cooking up Indian dal. So dals are um, a super stew made out of legumes, um, which can be lentils, peas, or beans. And they're really just cooked down and then spiced to perfection with all those great Indian spices. And for me, this is just one of those pure comfort foods. It's great during the you know colder months. We got snow in North Carolina this weekend. So it's like, it's time for a doll. So if you've never made one, hope you enjoy the video. And if you have, definitely give this one a try. It's loosely based off a Gujarati doll, um, but I didn't quite have everything on hand, so I kind of used some more common ingredients. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, make sure you subscribe down below, and let's get cooking. All right, so let's start cooking our legumes. So I'm using tor dal. This is a split pigeon pea, and this is what is traditionally used in Gujarati style dal, though you can use any lentil that you have on hand. And then all we're gonna do is rinse those out in a strainer. I'm gonna pop in two chilies. I like a little bit of spice. And then we're just gonna boil this in about six cup of water. And we're gonna let that boil until everything is softened down. So it's probably like 40 to 60 minutes. So you can see right here, and then now all we're gonna do is quickly blend this up with an immersion blender to give us that smooth consistency that we're looking for. And if you wanna add more water at this stage, you can do so. Um, the actual consistency of a doll kind of varies. I like mine a little bit on the thicker side. And this will thicken up as we cook it down with the other ingredients. So let's start preparing those. So we're gonna start with some ginger garlic paste. This is a big staple in Indian cooking. I feel like almost every recipe uses it. And all I'm doing is throwing some garlic cloves and ginger through a crusher. Um, you could also just use a blender to blend these up real quick, but you just are looking for this kind of pasty texture. So now that we've got that all ground up, let's talk spices. So these are some pretty staple spices. We've got some mustard seeds here in black, the whole cumin seeds here to the left. These are some dried chilies. I kind of added those myself. And then these are fenugreek seeds. And then we have our red chili powder, which is kind of like a cayenne except hotter. And then turmeric, which is gonna get that nice color. So we can see here, this is the whole board of ingredients. Ginger garlic paste, our spices, peanuts, some diced tomatoes, and then the lime. The lime's gonna give us that nice sourness that is kind of reminiscent of a Gujarati style dal. And then as you saw, I put some ghee in a pan and this is a very important part in Indian cooking. We are preparing the tadka, which is basically tempering spices in some kind of oil. And why we do this is to bring out some of those essential oils that are in the spices. It makes everything so much more flavorful and really takes those dishes to the next level. So I started with the whole seeds and then brought in the turmeric and the chili powder. And then once those are all good and toasted, be careful, don't burn them. Bring in that ginger garlic paste, throw in those raw peanuts so we can start toasting everything up together. And I'm telling you, the smells coming off this pan right now, I wish they had smell-o-vision. So now that these are all good and roasted up, I'm going to come in with a little bit of diced tomatoes. And that's going to help provide a little bit more body. And you're going to see everything roasted together. We're really building the flavor profile from the bottom up. You know, we start with the spices, then we hit it with the garlic ginger, then we hit it with the peanuts and the tomatoes. And then we just stir everything in with our pureed lentils. And this is one of my favorite parts too. We can see the spice mixture as we stir this in will really start to change the color. And then I'm just gonna let this come up to a nice simmer. And then this is where we're going to start with our sweet and sour components that is kind of known for in the Gujarati style doll. So a little bit of sugar about a teaspoon or so, and then I'm coming in with that lime juice. 
and the lime juice is going to provide a ton of brightness. It's going to be that acidic component and you should really taste it on the kind of the front of your mouth when you take a bite of this style of doll. So all I did was squeeze both those in and I'm going to let them actually in the pan and cover it for just about 5-10 minutes, see if we can't get some more flavors in there. So now that those have been going for about 5-10 minutes, we're just going to finish this off. We're ready to serve. We're just going to throw in a bunch of cilantro and stir it in throughout. And then that is it. It's so simple. You know, you get your lentils and then you just really build up that spice flavor. Make sure you give it a taste. If you need to adjust, now would be the time to do it. And let's plate this thing. So we're just gonna put this in a bowl and normally you would serve this with some white rice or dip some naan in it. Or if you're like me, I just eat it straight up. No matter what you do, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Let's quickly talk nutrition and price. So 228 calories, 37 grams carbs, 13 grams protein, 4.5 grams fat, and 91 cents per serving. And let's just sit and enjoy this one together. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.